Hi everyone, Kelly here. Today I'm going to be making a tater tot taco casserole. I'm going to go through real quick on what you're going to need. I will have the list of ingredients and the amount in the down bar. Um, you're going to need a bag of tater tots, a pound of ground beef, shredded cheddar cheese or Mexican style cheese, totally up to you. You're going to need a can of enchilada sauce, a can of black beans, a can of Mexican corn, a packet of taco seasoning, one small onion, and a clove of garlic. First thing I'm going to do is brown up the ground beef and then we'll get started. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and season this with salt and pepper and cook this until it's just brown. Then we will go on to the next step. Okay, I got my ground beef cooked. I drained off the excess fat. Now I'm going to add the onion, garlic, the black beans. You need to rinse them and drain them. And I'm going to add corn, which you need to drain, and the taco seasoning. I'm going to let that cook for about five to ten minutes. Okay, I went ahead and cooked it about five minutes and I put it into a big bowl. Now you need to add 16 ounces of tater tots. My bag is 32 ounces, so I'm going to add about half. And this recipe calls for one and a half cups of the shredded cheese. You want to save a th about a third of it for later for the top of it. Actually, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pour one and a half cups of the cheese in. And I'm going to go ahead and top it later with some more because I think it needs more cheese. Then we need to mix it all together. Now you need to get your baking dish. And put about a third of your enchilada sauce in the bottom, a 12 ounce can. Then go ahead and pour your mixture in. <clears throat> and kind of pat it down. And then you want to pour the remaining 
enchilada sauce over the top. And then we're going to bake this at 375 degrees for about 40 minutes. Then we're going to take it out and then put the rest of the shredded cheese on top. Bake that until it's melted, about five minutes, and it's done. So I'll be back. Okay, I just took this out of the oven. It's been cooking for about 40 minutes. Now I'm going to top it with some shredded cheese. Put it back in the oven for about five minutes until it's melted, and then it'll be done. Okay, there it is. Thank you all for watching, and Happy New Year!